How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Brave review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 1996 Brave Command Dagwon liner team. Now there are actually four members to the liner team. The one that's missing is actually Dag Drill here and I'm actually going to save him for another review because I don't want this to be too long and I'll feature also in that review uh, Superliner Dagwon. But for this review we're going to concentrate on Turbo Liner, Armor Liner, and Wing Liner and then we're going to combine them into liner dag one so um very nice looking you know train group um they have all these kind of accessory pieces to kind of make them unique you can form a i guess convoy if you want as far as connecting them together there's a little bit on the back of their um accessory piece here that acts as a connective port you just pop those out and then it just fits on their front end like so and then now you have them connected um, not nothing too special there but I just kind of wanted to showcase that because you do have that option all right so let's take a look first off at the leader of the group which is turbo liner now turbo liner here is driven or piloted by turbo Kai and when they fuse together they become dag turbo now because of the name turbo you can kind of guess why he has this back piece which is kind of like a roadster engine nice big tire there and such um, rolls nicely does have another accessory piece which is this kind of shield which is only utilized in the combination mode of liner dagwon and super liner dagwon there's really no place to actually um store it on the robot or vehicle mode to transform them really simple you do first is just take that off and if you want you can take all take off the accessory piece on all of them and give them more of a realistic look if you like but, but you're going to take that off you're going to take the back piece extend it out that'll become his legs unfold his feet there take the middle section and rotate it around lock into place flip that piece down take the front section collapse it becomes the torso Flip up the head, rotate the arms out or around, and then we have Dag Turbo. Kind of see his head scope there. Articulation-wise, um, out of the three, he um, probably has the most. Uh, it's all in his arms. They can rotate around 360 degrees. Nothing on the legs, waist, or head. Um, I guess if you want, you can classify that as a reverse elbow, but that's kind of weird. Now this piece actually connects onto his back legs like so, which helps him with his speed, I guess that's hence his power, but unfortunately it makes him lean forward. But okay, let's look at Armor Liner here, which is piloted by Armor Shin and when they combine they create dag armor and as you can see he's got all the firepower i do like this back portion i mean you got the, the tank treads you got the missile launchers which this is spring loaded but this is actually um kind of um pressure launched i guess i don't know how you just kind of slide this back and it just launches the missiles you got some guns here which is a turn that you can s swivel back and forth and some molded ink guns there and these missiles if you're familiar with the brave of gold gold Rand series these little red guys which we get plenty of those all right transform them really simple you can take this part off and then simple transformation this guy transforms exactly the same way as um, dagwing so that we got his legs you can separate it a little bit and pull his feet take this portion pull it down become his waist we take this piece around there's his arms and then we have his head you can see his head sculpt there articulation all in the elbow that's it and that's just part of the transformation too so this piece though now becomes his backpack so you're going to Take this, rotate it around, flip this piece up, like so, and you got a 
hole right here. It's going to peg in on the back. And there we have Dag Armor. All right. Last guy, which is Wing Liner, is piloted by Wing Yoko, which becomes Dag Wing. And I really do like this one. Um, they all fly in the show, but this one just makes more sense because it actually has the um, the jet wings and you know thrusters on the back. But there's a little button right here that you just push, activates the wings, and then it kind of looks weird, but all you're going to do, push them back and they lock into place. So hold that back underneath. Not too bad. Again, not a lot of detail. I mean, this is all just stickered and such, but oh well. All right, take that piece off, pull that down again, pull out his feet, separate that, rotate that around, and we have Dagwing. There's his head sculpt. I do like the clear, the clear plastic there. It kind of looks like rotors or fans or something. And then this piece becomes his backpack, which just plugs in right there. Like so. And he gets wings back to the upright position. There we have Dagwing and bring out the rest of the team. Let's see how they size up. These guys are about the size of deluxe transformers. I don't have any deluxe size transformers with me right now, but um, I guess if you want a size comparison, here he is next to a, a Batman. <laughs> not too, um, they're not too small. All right, now let's combine these guys into Liner Dagwon. We're gonna start off first with Dag Turbo here and essentially just take this part off. Fold this part back down, fold in his feet, collapses, or fold his legs back in, fold his arms, and then rotate them, let's see, up like so. Put in his head, and then this piece right here has actually become Liner Dagwon's head, and you kind of see the head sculpt there. Rotate that around, hold this up, hold this down, rotate these bits around, they connect right here, and we have the torso all done. This piece now becomes his arm and waist plate, so this will become his waist plate his arm, unfold his hand there, and then get out the connector bit. So that is done. Now these two guys, Dag Armor and Dag Wing, become the legs. This will be his other arm. So fold that up. His arm, his hand out, and then the connector bit. So that's done. Fairly easy um, um, combination. You don't really have to do a lot with these guys. Um, you're going to pull off the front end. That will become a shoulder, um, I guess, shoulder pad or something if you want. And then fold this piece down. That will become his foot, and he's all ready. Do the same thing to Dag Wing here. Take that piece off. Hold up his arms. Pull up his feet. And he's done. And as you can see, we have connector ports here. Same with Dag Armor. They just plug right into each other. The waist plate, there's two holes right here and they'll cover up. This waist plate will cover up the arms. Now we'll take the torso and this connector bit will just snap into place right there. Like so. And it's on there pretty tight. Take the arms and they just plug in on the side. And then these shoulder bits, there are pegs on each side, holes on each side right there. Plug in like that. The shield just goes right over the tire. And then Dagwing's backpack just connects on the back. And we have 
Lander Dag 1. All right, let's quickly go over his articulation, which is pretty much in his arms. You can rotate his arms around 360 degrees, but it is hindered by this piece, but you can just fold this back down and you can rotate it around all the way if you like. He does have movement in his head. He can move it side to side, but there's no waist, leg, or anything in the wrist or anything. So that's all the articulation you get. Real quick comparisons. Here he is next to G2 Bruticus. So you can kind of see what it looks like with a transformer combiner g1 style i guess and then here he is next to brave fighter sun super guardian which i have said in the past reviews when i feature liner dagwin or super liner dagwin he's a little bit on the small side and you can really see it here even though there are four members um, even with the fourth member he's he's still small and here he is next to day base which they match up pretty nicely with each other. All right. So Liner Dagwon here, I really do like him, but if you're going to pick up this guy, I would really pick him up with that fourth member so you can have Super Liner Dagwon, which is Dag Drone, which will be my next review also. But you can't pick up these guys individually. It's a little bit harder to come by. And um, they do come in a three-pack Sonicong or Takara version. But again, I would try and track down the four-pack so you can get all the members. So you can have Super Liner Dag one. So that's about it for this review, guys. Thank you again for watching. Really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.